Hey guys, Dabu7, April 21st, 2013. We have got a witness from the shootout between the Boston bomber suspects and the police. And the account is being told by this witness is that she heard no explosions, that she seen the police SUV run the guy over, and that they shot him multiple times and he was dead before he was even put in the ambulance much less before he was pronounced dead at the hospital. So the whole, her whole eyewitness report conflicts the official story they're putting out there. And I'm going to run this and we'll let you guys hear it. But it's shocking. Good morning, Linda. How are you? John, Jerry, and Kirk with you. Oh, it's been a long night. I'll bet it has. Uh, you live on Dexter Street, correct? Uh, my boyfriend does, but I was just spending the night. Okay, and tell us what happened. Uh, give us the timeline, what you saw. Uh, um, we rushed to the front of um, the front of the house. It's a two-family house, and um, into his roommate's room, um, where we saw the um, the first suspect um, get hit by um, a police SUV, and then after he was hit, um, shot multiple times. Um, minutes later, an ambulance had arrived, um, put the suspect into the ambulance, and then off. And did you say that you, the suspect was hit by a police SUV? In other words, a vehicle hit him first? Correct. Wow. You know, I, I, I can also say, um, you know, from, from what, what we saw early this morning, um, I, I'd be hard-pressed to, to think that he was actually pronounced dead at the hospital. I mean, from the injuries that he incurred um, in the street, I, I would say he was, he was probably dead when he was put in the ambulance. So Linda, did he have a weapon? Was he firing back with a pistol or some sort of uh, a, a weapon at the police? Well, so from what I, so with the gunfire that you hear, and even if you listen to the news, you'll hear, um, you know, gunfire from, it sounds just from one gun, but towards the end, you hear multiple rounds, which sounds like it's coming from two different weapons. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, did I see it? I, I did not see him fire. I just remember him, um, I just remember seeing him get shot multiple times. Um, so, I, I mean, just from, from what I can remember and from what I can hear, I, I believe towards the end there, there was some uh, re retaliation on his end, but I, I didn't personally see it. You haven't heard any gunfire explosions lately, correct? It's been a while. We have, we have not. Um, there have been reports on the news stating that, um, you know, that they were going, that they may have found, um, you know, potential... Um, pipe bombs that they were going to safely detonate. Um, I personally haven't heard any explosions. Um, I can tell you there are um, two, uh, there's the Boston um, bomb squad truck as well as the um, Boston uh, Police Department Special Forces truck in front. So. so there you guys go, first-hand account. Eyewitness on Dexter Street um, witnessed another Illuminati event here take place, a false flag, a lie. Their official story is that they were cuffing this guy on the ground and his own brother hopped in an SUV and ran over him and killed him. And now this lady's saying that a police SUV ran him over, killed him, and they shot him multiple times, and he was dead before he, they even put him in the ambulance. So there's what the eyewitness is saying, and... Um, now, this probably won't be out there long. They'll probably try to get rid of all this and uh, take down all the videos with this information and have a little talk with this lady. She'll be getting a knock at her door, I'm sure. Anyway, there you go. That's what really happened from a, somebody that was right there. And as I get more information, I'll pass it along, guys. Till next time, Dabu7 with some underground world news.